Okay, so we're back in the tea journal, and I've slipped a few things in here, and I can't remember if I did these things on camera. Got some little tabs here, but I've put a little pocket there. Uh, what else have we got? Ah, this. This is what we're going to do today. I have a few of these papers that I bought. I say papers, they're more like card. I bought them off eBay. So I'm just going to pop those in with some Elmer's glue. If the Elmer's glue will work. Really nice, thick card. This little tab and this this page is done. I added this to the little box. Um, my tea peaks advent calendar. The last day was two tea bags in this cute little box. So I just folded it down, popped it in there. And we've got another paper. Oh, we've got another thing to go on this one as well. So we'll glue the page down. Glue on both sides. These paper clips, which are holding down this which I'll show you in one second. Let's just get this stuck down. I've obviously not put these perfectly to so that's fine. It doesn't matter. So I've made a pocket. Oh uh what is that one? Uh, it might be a bit small. I'm just gonna punch a little a little doodah in there, shall we? It's a little small, but never mind. So I want that to go on there. It means I just have to slip that out the way for a sec. So I've just literally um, cut like a square or rectangle and folded the edges over. So I'm going to glue that down. Right in place, just there. <laughs> Let's have a quick clip there. That's going to hold a little photograph I've taken of an artwork a piece of artwork that I did for Life Book which is based on its everyday celebrations and of course for mine have to be tea and art so I'll pop that to one side for now just to get glue on it and then I made this stop it and sort of flap out here in this box of Christmas 
tea bags in it. Then we've got this paper to go in. something lovely to print off. Went to the Kitty Cafe with my fiance the other day. We went to the one in Birmingham. So that's where he lives. Um, and I took a picture of the lovely rainbow teapots. Those you know where you get the cup underneath it. Tea for one sec. Um, then I have this. So we've got page with biscuit fun. Everyone's there. Oh, okay, sorry about that. We just had a delivery. Sadly, it wasn't for me, so I can't tell you what was in it. <laughs> and then I have this tag that I made with one of Tim Holtz's little cats, snarky cats. I think it's a Halloween set one, but he just looked at me like he'd eaten all the biscuits. <laughs> so, tea is a gateway drug to biscuits. And I have somewhere. Where did I put it? I lost it already. Did I put it in here? Um, no, okay, I don't know where that's gone. Um, I did have uh, some of this twill tape that I have dyed with tea. Where it's got to, so I won't use that for the tag. <laughs> Shall we just glue it down? Why do you need a corner pocket? Let's make a simple corner pocket with another one of these. This one from the same company or person or whatever. And I'm going to just go. Let's think how big. Okay, let's go. I do it smaller. No, right, let's just go for it. And I'm just gonna pop some glue down here. Sorry, down on the thumb. Oh, was it looking then? hair grips to glue things together just recently just because they're to hand. <laughs> uh, we won't put the tag in just yet because I don't want it to stick 
to the inside of the pocket so we'll leave that to one side same as the other one pressure there and same at the bottom there we go and then I have open this one that was a printable just in the background I think Oh no. Ah, yes. I have a pocket here to pop in for my little mini divination book that I made. So it's just about reading tea leaves. And then I'm going to fold. Just put that in. Fold the bottom up. No, that's very wonky, and that was. <laughs> paper to put in it's this one I have got more of these papers um, with different designs on but I don't think I'll use any more for backgrounds because I like the crinkly texture of the paper the tea dye paper so I don't want to take that away too much and a lot of them have got lovely backgrounds anyway because of the lace So just a little bit of a play there with that. Um, not sure when I will next do those, but let me just show you something else I've been working on. I bought a die. Uh, let me just grab it. It's just actually I bought two dies. They're old Sizzix dies. I go through my big shot, which is brilliant. So there's this puzzle one which I have cut pieces uh, all about some little back so I don't know where it's gone. Uh, where did the spares go? Yeah, cut uh, some out of the papers that I've just shown you and made a little jigsaw. So at some point that will go somewhere in the book. Um, yes, this die makes a little, I don't know if you can see that, like a little box, tiny little box. But I have been um, cutting it so that it makes pockets instead. So these ones I forgot to put. Oh. <laughs> 
forgot to put some plastic in to make them little windows. But these have got little tabs at the back. Um, so basically it cuts a shape like this. And then you're supposed to fold it and create a sort of a tiny little shaker box. So I've added some product packaging in there to make little windows. And I've cut them in half so this one I would cut that top piece off there. And these little tabs. Oh. Hello Merlin. Are you just standing up here? Because that's fine. Yeah. I'm in his spot. <laughs> you can sit down. And then fold all those up. And then there's your little pocket in the window. Um. So they will probably end up in the book at some point. And then to make these little, I just I just did what I did earlier and use this hole punch to make the little holes. So yeah, thank you for joining me for that quick little um, play and hopefully I will see you again soon.